I think it's time I give you guys the full rundown on our trip to Lausanne, Switzerland. As you guys know, this was just a part of the journey and actually it was the start of the real adventure. It all begins here and I'm gonna give you the rundown on everything you need to know. But first, if you're watching this video, chances are you like to travel just as much as I do. Now, guess what? I have the opportunity to host travel experiences. We're taking it abroad and we're taking it live and direct. If you wanna travel with me, the only thing that you need to do is click the link in the description of this video. There, you will find a two minute survey. I just need about 100 to 200 responses to this survey to tell me exactly where we should go. And then we'll plan out the trips in the order of locations that you guys have selected. All right. So whatever location gets selected the most, that's likely where we'll go first. I can tell you right now, based on what I'm seeing, Bali is already in the running and so is Cape Town. So tap in, let us know. And then once I get all the responses I need, we'll plan our first trip. Let's go. All right, y'all. So uh, today was the last day in Lausanne, Switzerland. And I got to tell you, today has probably been one of my favorite days of travel so far. We had so much fun. We went to a winery, you know, kind of scattered around the hillside and the mountain. And I just have to say to you that that is probably one of the most beautiful drives I have ever experienced. And I've experienced quite a few beautiful drives. To me, there's nothing like seeing mountains and then villages within the mountains and the architecture and just learning about how the wines are made and how so much of good wines and a quality wine depends on not only the grapes, but the soil, the wood, the barrel, how it's burnt, how the wood in the barrel is burned. And you just learn so much. And then to sort of sit and see how people live and the quality of life here is phenomenal. It feels like you are at peace. Obviously, I'm sure they have their day to day, you know, things that that they, you know, deal with similar to any place else. But I just got to tell you all, like the lifestyle here just feels just like they just got it right, man. Like they just have it right. It's really this amazing balance of people doing work that they love, especially at the winery, as well as being able to really enjoy the land. And some of the things that we learned about what I was calling Lake Geneva, which really they call Lake Le Mans. And I'm looking over at the mountains and I'm thinking those are the Swiss Alps, but they're French Alps. You just learn so much, but the lake, which I was calling Lake Geneva, which is really Lake Le Mans, is of this beautiful body of water that in the summer they swim in, there's festivals. It's so beautiful. And one of the cool, cool things that we learned about the lake was that, you know, at one point there had been something that happened with the soil and it had eroded into the water. And the Swiss and the French worked together to bring the water back to a place of purity. And it's just, you know, you just hear about so much of the history here and how proud the people are and even the bad parts, you know, they talk about them in a way that is informative, but they recognize that it is their history. No one's trying to erase the history. They're just, they just tell you, this is what happened. And I really found that to be refreshing because, you know, uh, I could go on, I'm, I'm not gonna make this a political thing, you know, about what, what happens or what's going on in the US or anything like that, because. I just feel like the message that I want to send to people watching this is that there is a quality of life here that I do feel is just amazing. And it is something that I want for myself at this point. So anyway, that's kind of the mental space that I was in as we took this wine tour. And, you know, the final stop on the tour after we'd gone through the vineyards was actually tasting the wine, some of which we did bring back with us. 
came back from the wine tour and honestly we oh we had lunch where do we have lunch we had lunch at this burger spot that was actually really really good the burgers were amazing and we had there was like a it was a it's a spritz it wasn't it's not an aperol spritz because i'm not an aperol spritz person but aperol spritzes are everywhere on the menus here it was almost like a limoncello spritz with prosecco limoncello and lemonade it was so good then from there we just kind of walked around you know the water here in lusane and just talked and it just felt so nice to have slowed down in the way that we have and then to come back here again like i said to a castle and for me i just rested i just relaxed i just took some time to just decompress and i actually went down to the sauna and i sat in the sauna for about 30 minutes before it was time to shower and then we went to dinner at this exquisite italian restaurant y'all when i tell you they made the tiramisu right there in front of us i had never seen that done before in my life i had a salad and i had what was it i had a salad and i also had ravioli but there was like a three meat ravioli it was prepared ever so lightly the food has been fabulous here in lusane so that's what i can really tell you about lusane if you are thinking about coming to switzerland this is a place where you absolutely need to be and there are so many hotels here that look so phenomenal that you would be remiss to miss this place especially if you like wine that wine tour was everything it was enough to make me consider how can i become a, a part of the wine business or how can i look into it more and i've never been much of a wine person but as a result of traveling to, to places like Cape Town and now here, I'm just discovering so much about wines that I'm falling in love with. And then, you know, tasting them after learning about them is such a different experience than just ordering a glass someplace while you're out. So let me tell you something I am a little concerned about. So tomorrow we are headed to Grindelwald. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Excuse my mispronunciations, but I do not speak French, I do not speak German, and those are just two of the languages that are prevalent here. We are currently in a space where they speak mostly French, I believe, and a lot of English, obviously. And I think we're going tomorrow to a place where they speak maybe mostly German, but I'm not quite sure. My issue is obviously the same issue that I've been having since I've been on this trip, which is that I have so much stuff that I am a little bit concerned about just repacking because I have to repack now. But I wanted to do this video because I committed to doing these sort of daily recapping vlogs to sort of let you guys know, you know, just my general thoughts and kind of decompress and give you guys the full day rundown and my thoughts about it. But right now as I look around at my bags and the mess that I made, and I, I may just show it to you at the end of this video, but as much as I try not to unpack too much, it just never works out that everything stays in any kind of order. That is the downside of traveling from city to city to city. So what I would tell you to do that I would do differently is I would choose carefully the types of sort of pants that you wanna bring. I think that there are certain things that can just be worn over and over and over again, and that just has to be your thing. I think that underwear and undergarments if you are interested in you know sort of having something on under like i'm not wearing anything under the sweater right now because only because we were just going to go to dinner i'm just going to be realistic about it might i wear this again during the trip probably probably because i didn't i worked for a couple of hours like maybe two hours at the most but um finding some you know underclothes that you can easily wash and just kind of hang up while you're kind of venturing out into the city because we have a couple of more cities and a couple of more hotel stays and we have to be up super early tomorrow because there's a car coming to pick us up to take us to the train which is a train that has panoramic views 
So it's kind of like a glass. You're, in, you're encased in glass that you can see all around. And then I think we have another train after that before we get to Grindelwald and check into the hotel there. So really it's just the, I think the most stressful thing for me is sort of packing and repacking. It feels like I'm playing Tetris, honestly, with my luggage. So that's, I mean, but it's honestly, it's, it's not even a bad problem to have when you really think about it because you're on a fabulous vacation and you're in fabulous locations every day. You're eating fabulous food. I'm drinking a lot of fabulous champagne and everything is honestly just super fabulous and luxurious. And I could not have asked for a better experience. So that is my update for today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying doing it. To be honest with you, I'm just going to go ahead and put this out into the atmosphere. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I would love to just go and travel from city to city and place to place that people aren't always necessary, that maybe not at the top, be at the top of people's minds, discover these places and hopefully share them with someone who wants to have that same experience at some point. So anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and start packing so that I can get some sleep and I wanna get up at like 5.30 in the morning so that I can you know, shower, get ready, go have breakfast. I am not missing the breakfast here. That breakfast is so good, okay? So um, that's that, and I will actually show you my luggage now. I'm gonna show you all of the mess and the chaos because I want this to be as transparent as possible. I've given you the room tour before, so you've seen all that, so I'm just gonna kinda show you how everything is really kind of laid out right now, and then we'll just put it all together. I'm not gonna film that part of it, but I just want you guys to see what I'm dealing with, right? All right, so. Let's turn this around. All right, so this is the real. This is the real, right? You got the bed. Can I tell you guys something? Honestly, I bought this at Mon in Montclair in Geneva. This is my new favorite fragrance. I will be wearing it day, night, and henceforth and forevermore until I run out. All right, so yeah, I mean, it's just a lot. You know what I'm saying? A little day bag just to kind of like carry like, you know, all the key hotel keys and you know, obviously my, like my Altoids, my gum and stuff like that. Clothes that I had on earlier that I wore the other day. And then obviously the suitcase is just kind of like in shambles right now. So I've got to kind of straighten that out. And then obviously we've got, you know, stuff on the desk that I need to sort of straighten out as well. I'm going to make myself some tea while I do this and I'm going to listen to my JLo, the JLo album, if you guys haven't heard it. None of this is sponsored by anybody, <laughs> but I love the JLo album. But there's an assortment of teas here, so I think I'm probably gonna try to have either this hibiscus tea or maybe this mint tea. I just want something without any caffeine in it. So yeah, I'm gonna make some of that. You guys can see the little thing right here. And I still have, look, this is so cool. I probably already showed you guys this, but look, you got, they got beer in here. They've got actually, is that a bottle of champagne right there? I can't really tell. Anyway, so you got all the things here and it's all free. That's literally unheard of. So anyway, that's today's vlog and I will catch you, of course, in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If there are things that you guys wanna see more of, let me know and I will make sure to try to add those to the videos. Again, this is just my way of just hopefully inspiring somebody to do something similar. And I hope that you guys fall in love with this as much as I'm falling in love with doing it. So with that being said, subscribe, like, comment, and share if you like.